So in this video, we are going to see Internet Explorer 11. Uh, it's part of uh, Windows 10. Right there. So Microsoft does not recommend using it for day-to-day -day thing. Uh, browsing. And this one is the security segment. This was a really neat feature in Windows. Oh, sorry, in Internet Explorer. I will show you. We used to back when it was uh, in XP when uh, six. We used to play with all the settings in Internet Explorer settings, and pretty much that was the go-to thing. So you, s they still have the um, back and forth buttons. Uh, search bar is separate than the address bar home button all that setting so everything is still the same that but what I really wanted to show you is internet options so you see it's about Internet Explorer 11 and internet option is the one that we went by doing all the things so <clears throat> let's I cannot do that can I can I make a blank page so Yep, much better. Nope. So what I can do is I can open Google. So you're not distracted by the background. And Internet Explorer. So this is like you could use the uh, home page thing, start with the home page or tab from last session, whatever, and you can def define the tabs in here. So if you wanted to delete browsing history um, you could delete so from here or you can press settings and you know you can do that so this was recommended uh, for a large number of reasons if like if you're uh, I had only 5 GB disk <clears throat> and you know obviously when it's full then you started having issues so you try to get as much space from every nook and crony so that's when you want to do delete that come here and delete everything um, not the history but the files like the objects if you click there it shows you everything in here and um, this yeah this so it was like there will be ton of um, files here if you use uh, Internet Explorer uh, for your day to day uprising history cache and database and all that so I never messed with the appearances but the, the other thing was that security like what do you want to set things up and you had to trusted site like local internet internet trusted sites restricted sites you define everything in here and custom level this the I did come here for like to enable or disable something like you need to be very uh, precise what you wanted to do and then there was a slider um, I don't know where the slider is sites you can add sites here but there was a like a slider you can go up and down on about like how secure is the uh, the browsing you want to be an Internet Explorer based on that slider will restrict uh, or allow access to internet so privacy is like your clear site settings pop-up blocker all that and you could do a lot of things here so it was pretty big there was a connection tab we used it all the time back in the day it was a dial-up so if you wanted to set up dial-ups for different uh, uh, ISPs you would come here and do that so <clears throat> you will have all your listed here and you know I we had different like based on which one is charging more providing you more um, speed and I'm talking about the, the maximum speed where you can hardly get 5 5.3 kilobytes per second that's in kilobytes yes so you know based on that you want to pay more or you want to pay less but you all you're doing is just 
uh, texting or chatting with the final on Amazon or Yahoo messengers so this is the advanced feature that you can turn on and off the other one was the, about uh, scripts and this one was that what features you want to turn on or off and you know you can learn all that and come here so this is the steps that you uh, or the place where you do that so this is a default level yes okay right there this is the slider that you go by so you can see you could put it to high or you could put it to a really lenient one here so it was based on this that uh, Internet Explorer will do about things of on the internet and then restricted site you could add and all that uh, if you remember from edge it's not as much control as the Internet Explorer gave you these are the uh, certificates that you can add or you know connection and all, all that and this Internet Explorer has become more like a local intranet thing and that uh, if sites use old technologies and old macros or uh, add-ons or ActiveX controls then you really want them opening in Internet Explorer 11 and there is a way to force it as well like if your uh, users they use now like Edge then you, there's a program that I'm gonna cover next that you can add all the sites and even if you try to open them in edge they will be automatically open in in the in, yeah, internet explorer 11 so let's wrap this video here there's nothing much except for this settings that is important and we uh, played with it a lot <coughs> so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one that is i think enterprise mode list something thank you for watching have a good day